Welcome to the next segment in our Day in the Life series. In this series, we are covering the details of how to be a successful SOLIDWORKS PDM administrator. Today, we're going to go over the convert task inside of a PDM workflow. Uh, the idea of this is to generate PDFs once a file is released through the workflow. We will be setting this up in a PDM standard environment, uh, but don't worry, everything that we're showing here will translate to PDM Pro with no issues. So the main idea is that when a SOLIDWORKS drawing goes through the CAD approval process, a PDF will be automatically generated when the file is released. So to start this out, we're gonna head over to the admin tool and log in as the PDM administrator. So from here, I'm gonna go to file open Now I'm going to find where the default data was installed with my PDM client. It should be in Program Files, SolidWorks Corp, SolidWorks PDM, Default Data. Now this may be different depending on where your client was set to install um, when you originally set it up. Uh, in this case though, we're going to come down to the bottom of this list and we're gonna find the convert underscore gb.cex and click open. Now we have this CEX file that's been opened up in our PDM vault. And at this point, what I'd like to do is grab the top level, which is the convert underscore gb.cex and drag and drop it to my vault that I wanna have my task sitting in. When I do drag and drop it on that vault name, it adds in a SOLIDWORKS task add-in, as well as a task called convert. I can go ahead and close this CEX file now. Now to make this work, we have a little bit of configuration to do. Number one, we need to enable the task host configuration on each machine that will be required to run this task. So to do that, I'm gonna head down to the task host configuration, uh, which can be found listed under the PDM Blueberry. So the PDM Blueberry could be listed right here in your task tray, or you may need to hit this up arrow to find it in this list here. I'm gonna right click on here and click on Task Host Configuration. So what I need to do is permit this task to run on this machine. Um, and again, for anyone who needs to run the task, we need to permit them to run the task on that machine, and we need to do the same thing at every machine where this needs to run. First thing we do is select our vault, and in my case, the correct one is selected. Then I need to enable or permit the SOLIDWORKS task add-in to run on this machine. So I'll check the permit box and hit OK. So now we need to configure the actual convert task. I'm gonna go down to tasks and double click on convert. So now we've gotten into our properties of this task. Um, if you're using SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard, it'll look similar to this as we walk through. If you're using SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional, there's additional items that you can configure. Um, if you want more information about those settings, check out the online help files, uh, which I will throw a link in the description, um, or contact CATI customer support. Now we need to set some options for our convert task. The first option we need to address is the execute as logged in user. We have two options in this setting. The first setting would be execute as the logged in user, or we can specify a user and have the permissions temporarily pass to the user running the task. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as execute as logged in user. Now we need to dictate how many retries there will be in the event that the task fails. Underneath of the retries count, there's the minutes to wait before failing. In this case, I'm gonna change mine to three and three. So it'll be three retries if it fails and wait three minutes before failing. The next section is the execution method settings. Earlier when I was in the configuration for the task host, um, I permitted this task for running on my machine. When I do that, it shows up in this list and I have the ability to select the machines that have been permitted. I need to select each machine that can run this task from this list. So as engineering PCs are added and removed from the system, 
I need to revisit this setting and make the necessary updates. For now, I'll go ahead and check this box. In PDM Professional, there are additional configurations that allow specific machines to host and run all the tasks. This would be helpful if we had a dedicated machine to handle all conversions or tasks. Next, when we go to the conversion settings, we have a few options about how the PDF will be generated. In the top right, under conversion options, we can change the PDF output settings. In this case, I'm gonna uncheck export PDF in color and enable the high quality option and hit OK. At the bottom of this screen, we have control over the source file references. Do we wanna generate the PDFs as built or do we wanna use the latest versions of the referenced files to generate our PDF? In this case, I will keep the setting as use the latest versions. Next, in the file card settings, we have the option to pass variables from the source file into the PDFs that are being generated. Let's say we would like the source files revision um, set to the new files revision variable. I can set that here. I'm going to go to source, scroll up and say the source files revision number is going to be set to the destination variable for revision. On the output file details, I have options to name the new files that are being generated as well as the location where to save them. We can configure the PDF file to be named just like the drawing that it's being copied from, or we can add some options to include additional information like the source files revision. We also have the option to send all PDFs to one specific folder. This could be helpful if we have a group outside of engineering that needs to access those PDFs. In this case, I'm going to remove the configuration name, the source file extension, and just have the PDF be named after the source file. Sometimes users have multiple version years of SolidWorks installed on their PC. In the advanced scripting options, we can tell the task which version of SolidWorks has to be used. I'm going to go ahead and set the SolidWorks version to use to SolidWorks 2019 and click OK. So the next setting we need to address is the notifications. We have options to notify users if the task was successful or if it had errors. I prefer to alert the admin or the initiating user only when there's an error. I'm going to go to the error notification, select send in the row for admin or the system administrator, and also notify the user who launched this task. As we add users that are allowed to use this task, they will be automatically sent that notification if there's an error. Next, we need to fill out the information that'll show up in the notification. I'm gonna just say that there was a PDF creation error. And then in the text, I'm gonna come down and say that on the host computer by using this system variable, the current date and who it was initiated by will show up in the notification when I receive it. Next, I'll click OK to finish configuration of this task. Finally, we need to update our workflow transitions that will launch our new task. I'm going to go ahead and open up our workflow. Expand it out. In my case, I would like a PDF generated every time a drawing file is transitioned to the improved state. That means I would need an action on this transition, this transition, and the past approval transition. To add the task to a transition action, I need to open the transition, go to Actions, click on Add Action, change the type to Execute Task, give it a name, and in this case, inside of the PDM standard system, I only have access to the Convert Task. If I was using PDM Professional, um, I could have multiple tasks to do different conversions. For now, I'm going to leave this and hit OK. As you can see, I now have that Create PDF Action added to my task. We need to note that if the PDF is going to be created, we need that to happen at the end of all these other actions. Now when I have a drawing file that's sitting and waiting for approval and gets transitioned to approved by using the past approval transition, a PDF will be generated.